What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And please go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you have a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows, man. I'm live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Then you can also catch me live Sunday mornings with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get it popping, bro. Let's get it popping. So, final thoughts as we head into this Javante Tank Davis, Roly Romero fight tonight. I'll give y'all my final thoughts on the fight. My initial pick was Javante Tank Davis knocks out Roly Romero in round five or round six. Got like a round five, round six stoppage on this one. That's 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 the pick. Let me give y'all my final thoughts on the fight and let you know at the end of this video whether or not I'm changing my pick, okay? So, as I continue to think about this fight, these are the, these are the keys, right? Number one for Roly Romero, do you really mean the shit that you be saying, bro? And you might say, well, knockout, what you talking about, bro? Because if he really believes Tank to be all those things, that he been calling Tank, you know, dwarf. And he he he's he's scared of him. Um, Tank's a, a a female dog. All, all the stuff he been saying, y'all, yeah, most of y'all know all the shit he been saying about Tank. Just talking a whole lot of shit. If you feel that way, then tonight, bro, you should show Tank no respect. You should show him no respect. You should come out. Throw him on the ground if you have to. Grapple with him. Punch him on breaks. Punish him. Make yo, because you the bigger guy, right? You supposedly the stronger guy. You got to make your presence felt from the word go. When the bell ring, that's how you should be fighting. Otherwise, if you showing respect, if you trying to actually box tank, knowing your skill gap that you have with him, Knowing that your only chance is to land a big shot, fight, rough, rugged. You said you was going to Madonna him. You said you was going to do what Madonna did to Floyd. You said that shit. So, okay, Roly. Okay, Roly. You going to have to stand on that shit tonight, bro. That's what I'm looking for, bro. If you don't, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Y'all tune in. Me and KQKC tomorrow, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. I'm roasting. I'm roasting because if you don't, that means you was a sham, bro. I ain't saying it's going to get you the dub, but if you really mean the shit you've been saying, bro, you, you ain't finna go in there and try to box. You ain't finna go in there showing no respect. You going to go in there trying to get at Tank, trying to press him out, trying to throw him around. If you ain't warned, borderline warned, deducted a point, trying to go after him, all if you ain't doing that shit, bro, you was faking this whole goddamn time, and you lied to us, bro. You like you lied, like you was just trying to sell the fight, you was just trying to get a bag. No way, do I want to see Raleigh Romero get in this ring and try to show Tank any respect? The same way you go watch him fight Anthony Yigit. Okay? Anthony, can you dig it? Yigit, he was trying to grapple with him, hitting him on the brink, throwing him on the ground and shit. You need to have that same type of energy for Tank tonight, bro. Because you didn't talk about Anthony, can you dig it? Yigit, the way you've been talking about Tank. So you need to have that times 10 for Tank Davis tonight, bro. If you don't, then shit. I, I don't know what to tell you, dog. Use a fake one. Use a fake ass dude if you don't. Hey man, it is what. So that's 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 what I'm looking for from Roly. Are you gonna stand on the shit you've been saying? 
if you if you do, but you just get beat by a better fighter, then bro, you'll have my respect. I won't shit on you. But if you go in that hole deer in the headlights and shit, and you don't try to use none of your event, like you don't go in there doing all this shit you said you were gonna do, trying to do, like bro, I got I got I got so much smoke for you, so please, brother, for the sake of yourself. Go in there and stand on the shit you've been saying, bro. Show us that you really think he a bitch. That's what I want to see. Show us that you really think that by your actions. Because you've been showing us, you've been telling us, you've been saying it with your words. Now go show knockout by your actions that you really think that. Don't give Tank no respect tonight if you Roly Romero. For Tank Davis, my final thoughts. Bro, you in a lose lose situation. Cause if you go in there and you steamroll Roly, people gonna say that he ain't belong in the ring with you. If you go in there and Roly is competitive with you, people gonna say you got exposed. But when you in those type of situations. The only way out is you gotta you you gotta show people that it's levels. You gotta steamroll them. Yeah, he might have been an under a overmatched opponent, but I went in there and I showed him that he ain't belong in the ring with me. I showed y'all that he ain't belong in the ring with me. I did to him what I told y'all I was gonna do to him. So if you tank Davis, I'm telling y'all, bro, my expectation. Roly shouldn't get around off of you. With the skill gap, your ability to counter, your supreme boxing skills, you're faster, you're quicker, you're more explosive with your feet, you got way more boxing skills, this should be a fight that's like a highlight reel type of fight for you, bro. These, is just my, th these are my thoughts. And if it's not, then, bro, we got to start looking and maybe you ain't the fighter that we thought you was, bro. But my expectation, my pick stays the same. I got Tank Davis by round five or round six stoppage because I think he is who I think he is. And I think the skill gap is just too wide. It's just too wide. And I got Roley showing us that he been fake this whole time. Because I seen something. Everybody, please, before the fight, go watch Roley's interview after the weigh-in. You will see his legs shaking the whole time he talking. Just go watch him. You will see his legs shaking, bro. He nervous as shit. I think all that shit he been talking, watch him, watch him cower up, bro. And when he get in there and cower up, I think Tank gonna steamroll him. I don't think Riley Romero will win the round tonight. I don't think he will win the round, win a round. And I think Tank Davis is going by round four. Round four, round five, Tank going to start walking to him. And I got Tank stopping him in round five or round six. If Roley do come, it'll be seven, maybe even eight. But I'm going to pick five or six for the stoppage for Tank Davis. I don't see Roley lasting. And I don't see I don't see Roly being competitive in this fight. Maybe round one or two, if Tank is filling him out or something, maybe he might get around. But I don't even see that. And Tank, if he get anything more than a round, I'm disappointed. Anything more than one round for Roly, because you're filling him out, you're getting your distance, he is awkward and shit. Anything more than a round, I got issues. You're gonna have to turn up on him tonight, bro. You're going to have to turn up on him. You're going to have to show that he don't belong in the ring with you. We need to wake up tomorrow morning. We need to be talking about how you had a great performance and how we need to see you fight the best because your skill set is undeniable, but you just fought somebody that didn't belong in the ring with you. That's what we need to be talking about tomorrow, bro. We do not need to be talking about how you struggled with Rolando Roley Romero, bro. You can't let that happen. I know it's a tough situation where everybody expects you to win, Everybody's saying this dude ain't on your level, but that's why you got to focus up. 
That's why you got to go do what you need to do. Because I'm telling you, bro, I ain't going to mince my words. If this shit competitive, bro, if he beat you or or you barely win or some shit like that, bro, I got questions, fam. I got questions. So, you know, go do what Knockout is expecting you to do. And that's stop Roly Romero, round five, round six, pick ain't changing. And Roly, please, bro, don't be fake. Please don't let us know you were fake this whole time and had that same energy when you go into the fight tonight, bro. Show us that you don't respect him. Don't tell us that you don't respect him. Don't tell us he a bitch and then show up and get in the ring with him and start showing all this goddamn respect, bro. Or you're getting cooked. But that's all I got, man. Y'all be sure to tune in, man, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Central Time with me and KQKC. Enjoy the fights tonight. I appreciate everybody watching this video. Live shows Wednesdays and Thursdays, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And then, like I said, live tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Central Time. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.